Hello, welcome to my channel once again, and this is the first video on music theory that I am starting. I promised that this uh, channel be uh, of three topics, my favorite passions, chess, music, and worship. Chess is the easiest to make because you just put two players, get them to play, broadcast it, and that's it. It's very easy. Music theory is something that I want to... Uh, start now not only will i play music and, and uh share them with you um i also want to foremost of all teach music theory to a beginner so someone who has no knowledge of music whatsoever and take him or her all the way to advanced uh music where he or she is able to compose his or her own music. So I'll be teaching music theory, which I have acquired. No, the thing about music, it can be learned. It's not a talent that is accessible only to some. It's a knowledge that can be acquired. No? So I, I, for instance, I can play any song by hearing it just once or twice. It's not something that, uh, it's not a talent. I acquired it um, during college. And you can acquire it too. You just have to learn the basic elements. And this is the reason why I'm starting this video to share with you music theory so that you'll be able to uh, progress from total beginner with no knowledge at all of music up to advanced level where you can play any song from just by hearing it once or twice and make your own music, compose your own musical compositions. Okay, so lesson number one, music comprises only 12 tones. There are only 12 distinct tones that you can generate either with a synthesizer, with the piano or the guitar, saxophone, violin, whatever it is. There are only 12 distinct tones that any musical instrument can generate. So, importante, importante po yan. So, we narrowed the field from a vast complex or vast universe of music to just 12 distinct tones that you have to learn and master by heart. These tones repeat. Although, uh, increasing pitch, increasing uh, note, or decreasing, but after 12 distinct tones, they just repeat themselves, actually. So, and our forefathers, our predecessors, uh, named them after just seven letters. Just seven, seven letters. And these letters that you have to learn are A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. Now, a lot of, I know a lot of my subscribers are chess players, so you'll see some very 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 strong similarities between chess and music i know there are a lot of chess players or musicians and vice versa because they actually share a similar language we also talk about a1 a2 a3 b1 b2 b3 in music like we do in chess so but in in, in music there are only seven instead of eight letters no no h so but you say oh teacher you said 12. How come there are only 7? Well, there are, in addition to these 7 letters, there are 12 notes in between them. Okay? So, but uh, for now, understand that music only, music theory only uses 7 letters, A to G. So, to fill up the 12, these are the name of the no, of the tones of the five other tones in addition to the seven letters no they are named after the letter to its left so in between a and b there is a tone called a sharp between b and c there is no in between tone but between c and d there's c sharp between D and E, there's D sharp. Between F and G, there's F sharp. And between G and A, there is G sharp. So that's it. 
very uh, it, it's really really important for you to uh, master these 12 tones the names of these 12 tones because music is the, the it's the cornerstone of music actually these tones uh, we'll go over it one over and over and over and over uh, Ito lang 12 tones na to, ang pag-uusapan natin sa, sa in the entire music theory. So, that's it. 12 distinct tones. And after G sharp, the next tone up is back to A. But a higher A. So, higher A. And, okay, that's lesson number one. 12 tones. And we have named all 12 of them. Number two, half step and whole step. Very, very important. It's also the cornerstone of music. Half step and whole step. What, is it? What, what do I mean by half step and whole step? Between each tone is a half step up in tone generation. Meaning, itong 12 tones na po ito, they're all even, evenly spaced. They're all evenly spaced. Uh... And the spaces in between tones are called half steps. So after 12 steps up, you go back to A. Parang ganun yan. So between A and A sharp is half step up. Between A sharp and B is half step up. Between B and C, there's no in between note, is a half step up also. Between C and C sharp is a half step up. Between C sharp and D is a half step up. D and D sharp, it's all half step up. So how many half steps are there? One, A to A sharp is one. A sharp to B is two. B to C, three. C to C sharp, four. C sharp to D, five. D to D sharp is six. D sharp to E is seven. D to E is eight. F to F sharp is nine. F sharp to G is ten. G sharp, G to G sharp is eleven. And from G sharp back to A is 12, 12 half steps, and you go back to the tone, the A tone, although one, one cycle higher, we call it octave higher, but that's late, uh, for later. So, ito pong concept ng half step is very, very important. You have to understand that uh, the tones are evenly distanced. No? They're separated by half steps. What I uh, the letters that are in the up there right now are actually what the notes of the piano, not that one. Yon, I actually recreated the piano keys. The piano keys is such that it's so arranged that the, the A, B, C, D, F, and G letters are white keys and the in between notes are black keys. So you see, uh, A sharp is a black key, C sharp is a black key, D sharp is a black key, F sharp, G sharp is are all black keys. So these are the this is the piano keyboard and very important in between them. Half steps between A and B are two half steps up. So two half steps make one whole step. Okay. Itong half step and whole step, we'll be dealing with it all the way to advanced. It's how you construct chords. Eh? You use half steps and whole steps in constructing chords. Uh, but for now, let's identify them first. So first, 12 tones. Number two, each tone separated, evenly spaced, and the distance between them is a half step. Each tone. Okay. And then the picture, a piano. Okay, what about the numbers? Well, the numbers represent the uh, where they are in the, uh, whether the pitch is low or high. Okay. The, I'm going to look. Okay. This here is actually the keys of the keyboard. The piano keyboard. The typical 8-8 key piano keyboard starts with A, A0, B0, and C1, and then C1. Okay? Um, 
understand that the middle C is C4. In the the middle C is C, C4, so everything in between uh below the C4 numbered 3 to 1. And everything above C4, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. So uh So, uh, ito po ang ginawa nilang nomenclature for each tone that can be generated from the lowest pitch, which is A0, to the highest pitch, which is C8. So, there are eight octaves. So, one cycle of uh, the 12 tones is called an octave. Starts with... Uh, C is the beginning of the octave. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and then C, another octave. A, B, C, D, F, G, A, B, and then C. So that's why we put numbers to uh, know where, whether they are uh, among the 12 tones, kung nasa baba ba siya na octave, or nasa taas siya na octave. So I'll stop here for now. Please, um, before we go to lesson lesson two, you can you may repeat this video and uh, master the names of each key of each note, each tone in the keyboard. So because we'll be doing C three, C four, like for example, the C chord composed of C, E, and G. C, E, and G. You can there there will be inversions, inversions, and um, but for now, yun lang po muna, lesson number one natin. 12 tones, half key, half step, full step, and then the numbers to represent whether they are low tone notes or high tone notes in relation to the middle C, which is C4. Bye! Till the next lesson.